Hi guys, welcome back to Real English. My name's Liam and today we're having another look at the verb to get, okay? So another very common one. So, let's get to it. Okay, so the first one, to get ahead, to get into, to get off, and to get along with someone. So, the first one here, to get ahead, okay? So if you're trying to get ahead in life, you're trying to be successful, you want to do well at something, so usually if you're trying to get ahead, you want to work hard. You need to work hard to get ahead in life. To get into, this is a very, very common one, and it can be used with more or less anything. Um, it took us ages to get into the cinema, to get inside. If you do that, you will get into big trouble, okay? You're going to be in trouble. Get off, again. If you're on the bus or on the train, get off. You get off. When do I get off? Um, so here I've asked the question, where do I get off the bus? At which stop? And to get along with, this means that you are friendly with someone. So maybe you get along with your neighbours, you get along with the people that you work with. Um, and obviously you get along well with your friends because that's why they're your friends. So I don't really like Mark. We just don't get along. All right, so let's move on to the next four here. Get through, get over something, get away with, and get out of something. So to get through, um, usually we use get through for maybe a difficult time in your life. If something bad has happened or something tragic, you have to get through these difficult days. Also, you could use it for exams. I managed to get through the exams. Um, so here I've said to become a qualified doctor you need to get through years of studying. Um, doctors will know what I'm talking about. You're talking six, seven, eight years. Ouch. Get over. Um, to get over something is to recover. Okay, so maybe again if something tragic has happened in your life it takes you months or years to get over it. Also, if you're recovering from an illness maybe you get over the sickness. So after the death of his poor dog, it took him months to get over it. Okay, so to get away with something. To get away with it means you'll get caught. Okay, so you're doing something and you're probably going to get caught. So usually we would say this as a warning. If you, if you do that, you'll get caught. You'll never get away with it. Like to get away with murder or get away with stealing. Um, and the final one, to get out of something. So this is a sneaky little word, this one, is when usually you've got to do something, but you don't want to do it, and you make up excuses to try and get out of it, all right? So um, maybe you've got uh, overtime to do, or you've got to go to something that you don't really want to, and you make up excuses. Don't try and get out of it. You have to do it, okay? So. As per usual, we've got some little questions here for you, so you can try and answer them and put these phrasal verbs into practice, because you need to, they're tricky little things, and coming up in a minute are going to be the answers. So, again guys, thank you very, very much for watching, I hope this video has been useful, and let us know if there's anything else you want, you want us to post. Bye for now.